That's Queen Yesimo Fear Run. Uh, big, big windstorm here. A lot of rain. So a lot of this blew up here. Not, not this much. I lifted this up. But it blew up a little bit on the bottom, so I cleared it out. It's kind of good. Blessing in the skies because I wanted to reinforce this. I'll cut this a little bit here. But uh, I'm going to reinforce it with uh, this tarp right there. And uh, the wood stove is right in there. Lamp. Otherwise, it held up good. Uh, this is locked into the tree. So it, which, it has withstood 80 mile an hour wind. I don't know how much it got last night, but... Uh, so I'm, I'm reinforcing this, and then I'm going to put the tarp in there. And uh, so I'll just cut this here. Let's see if I get that other tarp underneath here. And that's the shipboard. That'll dry out. So a lot of wind and rain. And uh, just it was open a little bit in the bottom line like this. But, um, but overall, it did pretty good, man. So... I'll get back to you. The dogs are in there. Let's so cut this off here. Okay. There we go. Fixed blade knife here. How you doing, Maeve? The dog went inside there. They like to go in there. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to see what I can do with this tarp. Alright. Just a little bit. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm gonna get it underneath the old stuff. I'll turn this back a little bit. Take this down here. Let's see if we do that. Uh, stake it down there. Just, uh, so just give this a little extra. Pretty 
messed up. Still got a lot of wind coming here. You all right? Yeah. So, it's going to have some unfair ride. Uh, I'll stake this down. Put some willow stakes in here. Or not willow, uh, hemlock stakes that I made. Another one right here. Plus I put linseed oil on them. So we should be uh, in decent shape. And uh, I'm gonna go in, I looked inside, the inside's fine. But uh, a little better than, you know, fix this up, it's, it's better. And that's like a double tarp there, so. So we're okay, man. Good. Take care. So anyways, I put this, uh, double very waterproof tarp in here now I'm inside you can see what's going on I don't have a flashlight or anything I just have the lantern uh, I have the the door is open there but um, yeah so here's the stove if you've seen that before so it, it starts over here and it goes all the way over because the bottom of the old tarp was messed up and so it goes pretty far over there and uh, it's really set up nice now so should be pretty good and uh, that's what I did today because of the storm, you know, the, the bottom blew up on it a little bit. But uh, yeah, so it's uh, looking pretty good. Nothing fancy, but it'll be a lot warmer. That's that's like a double canvas tarp too, very waterproof. Uh, but uh, yeah. So it should be all set. Then the temperature is gonna drop to about 10 degrees tonight, so. Um, but we're set here. The stove looks good. You can see a little better now because the uh, light's in there. You know, I polished it up. There's no water in there with the storm. Pretty good. We've got the damper there. Lantern's looking good there. But a uh, little dream catcher right there. But yeah, so mission accomplished. Unplanned. But I'm glad I got it done and had that tarp because it started to tear on me a little bit. I didn't re reinforce it a little bit. It was kind of stiff. Long story with that tarp. Actually, when I first waterproofed it, it almost uh, spontaneous combustion during uh, during the troubles. Not the Irish troubles, but the sickness troubles. I didn't use the ingredients. I didn't want to go to the store at the time, which is crazy. I anyway, mean, still would. But, or a lot of stores are closed closed so but that's fine now and I've, I've used it and camped out with it and stuff but I have another one but uh, yeah that, that's uh, that's gonna be just great so be a lot, it'll be a lot warmer and then it and then down in there I see it's just a lot more room it's a lot better but I'm, I might leave the door open don't think the winds coming from the Northeast it might change over to the come from the Northwest which is over that way and I might be all right. If it was northeast, northeast uh, wind, I would shut that door. But right now, I might leave it open, just dry things out a little bit before the heavy cold comes, and it, you know, it might sublimate anyways the moisture. But uh, that's what we're doing here, man. 
but uh, yeah, we're good. And uh, got my stove down there. And then over in this area here, I kind of leave it so, you know, some, if I want, some air can get in there if I want to light this uh, little gas stove right down here. But uh, also up top here too, but uh, we're good. So this is, uh, you take care, peace, freedom, keep your eyes to the sky and uh, have a good Christmas. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you, you celebrate. So you take care. Kunyas Mofirrod.